His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict No. 42 of 2024, restructuring the National Human Rights Committee based on a proposal by the Minister of Foreign Affairs and following the approval of the Cabinet. The National Human Rights Committee shall be restructured, chaired by the Minister of Foreign Affairs and includes the following members. Under Secretary for Courts, Family Reconciliation and Alimony at the Ministry of Justice, Islam Kfezan and Waqf, member. Coordinator at the Prime Minister's Office, member. Secretary General of the General Secretariat Ombudsman, member. Chief Executive of Government Hospitals, member. Under Secretary at the Ministry of Social Development, member. Chief Executive of the National Communication Centre, member. Assistant Under Secretary for Legal Affairs at the Ministry of Interior, member. Vice President of the Legislation and Legal Opinion Commission, member. Director General of Legal Affairs and Human Rights at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, member. Deputy Chief Executive for Enforcement and Protection at the Labour Market Regularity Authority, Member. Chief of Special Investigation Unit at the Public Prosecution, Member. Chief of the Human Rights Affairs Sector at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Member. Director of Labour Relations at the Ministry of Labour, Member. Director of Curriculum Development and Policies at the Ministry of Education, Member. Representative of the Supreme Council for Women, Member. The membership term on the committee shall be three years and is renewable for similar periods. Periods. The Minister of Legal Affairs, Yusuf bin Abdul Hussein Khalaf, participated in a meeting with the members of the sixth batch of the National Leadership Program, Hypo Youth, organized by the Institute of Public Administration in coordination with the Ministry of Youth Affairs. The Minister affirmed that the Bahraini youth play a pivotal role in enhancing the paths of comprehensive development in Bahrain thanks to the royal vision of His Majesty the King and the continuous support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, which contributes to empowering the youth and enhancing their role in nation building by providing material, educational and training resources that help them develop their skills and keep pace with modern methods. The Director General of the Institute of Public Administration, Dr. Sheikh Arana bin Isa Al Khalifa, emphasized that youth are central to development across all fields. She noted that the program equips participants with top administrative and leadership skills, offering them the chance to learn from national leaders and apply their experiences to create future initiatives that will will advance Bahrain on all fields. Bahrain Tenders Board issued its annual report for 2023 under the slogan Partnership, Transparency and Achievement in conjunction with the 20th anniversary of the board's establishment as an independent regulatory board that oversees government tendering, bidding, procurement and sales practices in Bahrain. On the occasion, the chairman of the tender board, Yasser Ahmedan, affirmed the board's uh, keenness to achieve the sustainable development goals established by His Majesty the King with the support and follow-up on His Royal Highness his Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The data of the report indicated the board's contribution in achieving savings of 485.6 million Bahraini dinars in government tenders in 2023 from the competitive prices submitted by suppliers and contractors participating in tenders through the e-tendering system, especially public tenders. Maidan explained that the savings came as a result of setting a studied and comprehensive plans that took into account the balance of enhancing financial sustainability while continuing to raise the level of the board services in the field of institutional excellence, governance and management of government procurement and auctions efficiently and effectively. He explained that these savings are the result of the board's efforts in coordination with its partners to develop the bidding and awareness and awarding processes by applying the ideal bidding method for government tenders. For his part, the Secretary General of the Board, Engineer Jamal Al Alawi, noted that the annual report reflects the achievements of 2023 and affirms the Board's commitment to supporting Bahrain's economic vision of 2030. He also noted the development procedures the Board has been working on, including the mechanism to respond to inquiries from suppliers and contractors and increasing the number of tenders and the tender opening sessions. He said that the Board always seeks to institutionalize work and governance procedures to enhance transparency and compliance and achieve the objectives of the law by documenting all procedures and processes and establishing clear and measurable performance indicators which led to the board obtaining the accreditation certificate for ethics in procurement for organizations for the third year in a row.
The Minister of Tourism and Chairperson of the Board of Directors of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, BTEA, Fatma Sayrafi, chaired a regular meeting to discuss the latest developments in the tourism sector for the second quarter of 2024. The Minister affirmed the commitment to cooperate with partners to achieve the goals of the tourism strategy 2022-26 to in diversifying the tourism product and increasing the targeted markets to enhance the kingdom's status as a leading tourist destination in the region. During the meeting, the CEO of BTEA, Sarah Bahadji, gave a detailed presentation that included tourism performance indicators in accordance with the tourism strategy. During the meeting, the authorities' efforts to market and promote the Kingdom of Bahrain as a prominent tourist destination in regional and global markets were discussed. The meeting also highlighted the BTEA's collaboration with travel agencies in key markets to further develop tourism packages aimed at attracting more tourists. The meeting covered developments in the operational plan for the exhibition world Bahrain and highlighted key events scheduled for the second quarter of 2024. The Kingdom of Bahrain ranked second in the Arab world in the index of the best countries in terms of living conditions as it obtained about 86 points out of 100 based on a report issued by the Legam Prosperity Index 2023. Let's see more in this report. The standard of living refers to the living condition that an individual lives with the availability of material goods, housing, health, education, and the ability to bear the costs. For this reason, the Kingdom of Bahrain has worked in accordance with royal directives to exert all efforts with the aim of providing a decent life for citizens and residents in Bahrain. The government for the kingdom developed plans, various joint programs and innovative projects in order to improve the living conditions of individuals and families through the government program 2023 to 2026. The main priority of the program focuses on raising the standard of living of citizens in a way that preserves their gains. The government has introduced a variety of forms of support for basic services, established the social security fund, the social insurance law and the living improvement allowance. The executive and legislative authorities have also prioritized the citizen. For example, the draft approval of the state's general budget for the two fiscal years 2023 to 2024 and the economic recovery plan also focused on supporting wages. As a result of these efforts, the Legate and Prosperity Index 2023 announced that the Kingdom of Bahrain ranked second in the Arab world in the index of the best countries in terms of living conditions, as it obtained 86 points out of 100 among the countries of the GCC and the Arab world. This was after measuring levels of prosperity based on a wide range of economic, social and political criteria. This advanced position, occupied by the Kingdom, affirms the effectiveness of the efforts made by the country to improve the standard of living. In conjunction with the back-to-school season, the Ministry of Industry and Commercial Sector and Consumers under the slogan, We Are Here, Let's Watch This Report. To create a transparent and sustainable consumer environment and to promote consumer protection in Bahraini markets, the Ministry of Industry and Commerce launched an awareness and control campaign for the commercial sector and consumers in conjunction with the back-to-school season under the title, With the back-to-school season, we are here. The awareness and control campaign aims to educate on the foundations and standards on which the buying and selling process is based and to raise public awareness of the rights and duties of the two parties, namely the commercial sector and the consumer. The campaign also seeks to strengthen control over markets and shops to ensure compliance with the applicable laws and regulations and to ensure the integrity of promotions and discounts and the proper controls for displaying prices. The monitoring and awareness campaign addresses any misleading commercial practices and commercial fraud by intensifying inspection tours on markets which is conducted by the Ministry's Inspection Directorate, thus enhancing the compliance of shops with the laws governing them and ensuring the availability and variety of goods suitable for the season. Student safety is a priority for the General Directorate of Traffic, which affirms the importance of parents' cooperation with the traffic police, community service police and school guards in providing safety for students. Let's hear more in this report. The General Traffic Department works to ensure the safety of students in conjunction with the return to school by developing a traffic plan aimed at achieving a safe school year and the flow of traffic for parents and drivers around schools. The traffic plan included a number of programs to develop the performance of the traffic police, community service police, school guards, and school bus drivers, 
by providing a number of awareness lectures in order to achieve safety and facilitate traffic movement. Road users and drivers must adhere to traffic regulations and instructions and avoid wrong behaviors, in addition to the need for parents to cooperate with community police and school guards to organize traffic and raise safety rates.